Boss, I have an idea. I want to pitch a new movie, all right? Fresh idea. Saw 90, The Return of Jigsaw. For real this time. Yeah, that's the entire title. Uh, we can shorten it. What's going on you guys, James here with another real review and today I'm diving into Spiral from the Book of Saw, yes the latest movie in the Saw franchise. Thank you so much to Lionsgate for hosting an in-person screening for this film. It makes all the difference being in a dark theater and I'm so thankful I was able to get to it safely and if you do too it comes out this weekend so make sure to buy your tickets because I'm sure that this is going to be doing numbers for Lionsgate. It's directed by Darren Lynn Boozman who is actually not a stranger to the Saw franchise and it's starring Chris Rock, Max Minghella, Marisol Nichols and Samuel L. Jackson. Now guys, I gotta preface this review with this. I've only watched the first three Saw films completely and parts of four, so I need to finish the franchise. But what I will say is I don't think you need to watch any more than Saw 1, 2, and 3 to understand Spiral. And that's because there's not a lot of connections to any of the other Saw movies. You can see the first three hop into this and be totally caught up and completely understanding the entire plot. There's a little homage to Saw 1, which is really cool. It involves, well, a saw and I think it is so fun it's cute but yes you don't have to worry if you've only seen the first three saws you're good now guys before we get into what I liked and what I didn't like about Spiral if it's your first time here at the channel welcome to Real James where I talk about and review movies and TV shows like this all the time so if you don't want to miss out go ahead and hit the big red button below and help us get to 5,000 subscribers smash that thumbs up button and that bell and get loud in the comments let me know when you watch this film this weekend did you like it did you not like it and tell me which game was your favorite and I won't spoil anything it's spoiler free guys but what I will tell you is there are some sick games here Alrighty, so let's get into the story a little bit if you're unfamiliar with what Spiral is about. This installment in the franchise surrounds Detective Zeke Bridges, played by Chris Brock, who finds himself wrapped up in a number of murders committed by someone continuing the legacy of Jigsaw, and this time, Zeke must balance solving the case and facing demons of his past. Alrighty y'all, so let's get right into what I like about Spiral, and let me tell you guys, the opening act in this movie, the first scene, is incredible. It is gruesome, bloody. And yeah, I had to turn my eyes away from the screen a little bit. This might be one of the all-time best games that we've ever seen, and also it's probably the best part of this film. And that's simply because of how well it was executed. Everything from the build-up to actually seeing the game take place was just a work of art. And like I just mentioned, overall, the games here in this movie are really, really good. There were four, and each of them were incredibly gory and very well shot. Which brings me to my next positive. And I'm not exaggerating when I say this, Spiral is the most well shot film in the Saw franchise. The cinematography and how this film feels is much more cohesive of an experience than any of the other movies in this franchise. I loved how it played to this murder mystery tone of the movie, and I'm really grateful for the fact that the editing here is much cleaner. One of my biggest gripes with Saul's 1, 2, and 3 were the fact that we'd always get these quick jump cuts in the middle of actual games, and yes, I know it's supposed to make you feel frantic, but instead, I got a headache. Luckily here in Spiral, we see that only happen maybe once or twice, but it's not nearly as exaggerated, which is a huge plus for me. And when you come into a Saw movie, you're expecting a twist, you're expecting something cool to happen in that last half of the film, and I am happy to report that the twist in this movie is actually really good. There were plenty of those aha moments at the end, and the critics I watched this with said it was completely predictable, but for me, I had a hunch, but I was never thinking to myself, this is obvious. And that's a good thing guys, because at least it left me with enough breadcrumbs and there was a lot of mystery for me to really be engaged with that last act. Now my biggest draw in terms of excitement for Spiral really was Chris Rock and Samuel L. Jackson. Both have their good and bad moments, but for the sake of this section, let's stay positive. Chris Rock as Detective Bridges does well in the comedic department, and honestly that should not be a surprise. His comedic timing is excellent, as we know he's a legend, and it helped break up some of those more tense moments following games and yeah even though I was on the edge of my seat and kind of hiding my face behind my hands his moments of levity really helped bring this film kind of into a nice place and then very shortly after it would get super bloody but you know that's a video for another day and then when it comes to Samuel L. Jackson, he had his moments in the third act, but what I will say is this, he's hardly in the movie. The screen is really reserved for Chris Rock, Max Minghella, and Marisol Nichols. Max Minghella plays rookie cop and Detective Bridges' partner, William Schenk. And I'll be honest, he does a really good job at playing well off of Chris Rock. I thought both of them and their moments together were some of the highlights of the film. If anything, they actually 
were both of my favorite characters in the movie, so it helped that they had really awesome chemistry. And then there's Marisol Nichols, who owns her role as Captain Angie Garza. She really does command the screen whenever she's given her solo moments, but I will say that she does the best with an otherwise really lazy script, but we'll get to that in a little bit. So guys, let's go ahead and segue into what didn't work for me with Spiral, and it starts with the writing. I know, I know, you don't come into a Saw movie expecting a really good layered script, and I didn't come into Spiral expecting that at all, guys, but man, the dialogue here was so forced and cliche. Nearly every line sounded as if it were written the day of filming, and neither Chris Rock nor Marisol Nichols could salvage this very lazy script. And Samuel L. Jackson does his best to give a one-liner that would otherwise make me smile in any other movie, but here, yeah, it didn't work either. I even felt that the humor was clashing for the majority of the movie. Yes, we know Chris Rock is a great comedian, but the movie so often kind of goes back and forth between tones. It wants to be dramatic, it wants to be suspenseful, and it wants to be funny all in one. But there are so many moments where it's really engaging and I'm kind of diving into this dramatic side of the movie. And then Chris Rock comes to us with a one-liner and it's just not funny and it's not very well executed. I also did not care at all for this whodunit story which felt like a lazy subplot in the midst of this new jigsaw running around town. Maybe better execution while building up to that final act, the climax of the movie, would have served the film a little bit better but yeah the whodunit stuff it just again felt cliche. We've seen it before and we've seen it done better and it doesn't work too well here in Spiral. And for as much as I was giving Chris Rock praise earlier, I don't think he really hits a home run here overall. His performance is really shaky, especially when it gets into the dramatic side of things. His character is always making these smoldering faces and honestly it distracted me because of how laughable it was and not in a good way. Guys, he tries his hardest to give his smolder face and it does not work. I wouldn't say he was miscast here because there are moments where I see him shine, but I just think the script misuses Chris Rock. And another actor that I felt phoned it in here in Spiral, well, it pains me to say it guys, but it's Samuel L. Jackson. Now I absolutely love him as an actor, but you can just tell he was the most disconnected character out of our main cast. Not once did he have chemistry with Chris Rock. I mean, I understand their characters are father, son, but man it just doesn't work and never connects and there's even this really bad flashback sequence involving detective bridges that really it's just bad guys on every level when it comes to writing when it comes to the production design and this horrible mustache that samuel L. jackson had you can tell that he was on set for maybe a week and i don't think that they used his time wisely i also couldn't get on board fully with this ending while the twist is cool and i was praising it I feel like it happened a little too abruptly and everything took place in 10 to 15 minutes. I know that's not unusual for a Saw movie, especially in the first film, but it just did not feel like the entire buildup was worth the payoff and I wanted a little bit more. I wanted a meteor third act, but instead we get everything wrapped up like this. And honestly guys, as the credits ran at the end, I do feel like I had one thought and that is the franchise has officially run out of gas. Maybe this should just be the last Saw film forever. I know, who am I to speak? I'm a Fast and Furious fan, but man, there's something about this franchise that just tells me there's no other direction to go in. Yeah, there is a little bit of a cliffhanger at the end, but man, there's nothing that tells me I want another Saw movie after watching Spiral. It's a bad thing, I would say, but it's also a good thing because maybe this is just exactly the end note that we needed. It's a standalone film for the most part. It doesn't necessarily connect too much to any of the Saw movies after Saw 3, but guys, maybe this should be it. So overall, you guys, Spiral is a movie where if you're coming here for the games and the gore and the blood, you're going to be super satisfied. But if you're coming here for a complete experience, I think you'll be disappointed like I was. Honestly, it's not a terrible film. This is a very middle of the road type of horror suspense movie, but it's not a complete experience. The writing is to blame here. The performance aren't terrible the actors and actresses here are awesome but everyone i feel like is misused to a degree and i just never feel like they got it right in anything whether it be the whodunit plot the murder mystery or even just focusing on jigsaw it was just kind of weak i mean everything from the jigsaw voice to some of the production design choices were not very refined and i think this is probably going to be 
my least favorite of the Saw movies I've completely seen so far, I like 1, 2, and 3 better than Spiral. But again, there are some redeeming factors about this movie, like how well it was shot, some of the funny jokes by Chris Rock, and those games. Guys, I'll keep going back to it. The games here are excellent. It's just everything in between. So if you guys had to ask me, I would probably rate Spiral a strong 2.5 out of 5. I can't give it a 3. I want it to even come out of this film loving it more than I was expecting to, but there's just not enough here for me to tell you. You have to rush out and see this. Now, if you're a Saw fan, you're going to watch it anyway, but if you're like me and you haven't seen anything past 3, eh, it's something that maybe you can wait on a little bit. But hey guys, those are just my thoughts on the movie, so I need to hear your thoughts down below in the comments, and if you haven't already, go ahead and hit the big red button below, subscribe to the channel, help us get to 5,000 subscribers. Again guys, Spiral, it's a good matinee type of movie, but I don't think it's a film, again, that is deserving of one of the best Saw films of all time. Yeah, there's just not enough meat on these bones here in this movie. Ugh, meat, ugh, guys. I can't even eat after this movie, I won't lie to you. I can't look at spaghetti the same way for the rest of the week. Again guys, thank you so much for watching, and I'll catch you at the next screening.